Good morning, everybody. My name is Mikko Kahara, and I'm the head of ICT Growth Services at, uh, at uh, Kursoro, the company which is behind, uh, behind Play Game Industry Hub. I'm here to talk to you this morning about, uh, about a development program that is focused on, on um, developing this startup ecosystem in, in uh, southern Finland. Uh, what we'll be running here, uh, uh, what Startup and Spin-Off Factory is, it's an it's a EU-funded development program from, uh, supported by the European Regional Development Fund. Uh, when we are running this program together with uh, University of Helsinki, uh, the Palmenia unit, uh, Turku University of Appl uh, Applied Sciences, and La Peranta Univer University of Technology. The main idea between, behind this program, this two-year program, has been to develop new innovative entrepreneurship and develop an acceleration program that is top-notch and that will remain to be a very integral component of, of, of developing the ecosystem in the future. Also, the uh, engage international, uh, international communities and activities through our startups. And um, it's going a little bit too fast here. And also help universities build a path for commercialization when it comes to their uh, research student activities and such. So where does the whole startup spin-off factory and the, the acceleration activities fall into? Here's what Playa does in, 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 sort of, uh, in, in general terms. What we do uh, working with, Venture Gym is the name of our acceleration program. So we, we are the sort of two, two uh, right side activities. So going from sort of more scale, scalable businesses, scalable um, game, game companies as well, towards the growth services where we support, um, support uh, such things as international financing and such. Uh, we operate from Kotka, which is about 130 kilometers east from, from Helsinki, easily reached through, through, the, um, through the airport, and we are close, close to the Russian border, only 225 kilometers from St. Petersburg. So Russia does play a role in our activities quite heavily. So why would we, as a regional development company, support the, grow, uh, the uh, startup scene? Southeastern Finland, especially uh, Kymenlaakso, have been hit quite, quite badly with the economic downturn and the changes in industrial landscape. We have a, uh, we have a high level of unemployment and we, we are in a desperate need to revitalize and reimagine our economic base. So we are very open to support all kinds of new, new initiatives that spr uh, spring up from our region. Uh, games industry is one and the whole startup, startup, uh, uh, startup ecosystem is second. So where we see it <clears throat> from these startups, from, from different kinds of new initiatives, can we, we can bring up the next success stories that will become role models for, for new entrepreneurs. And they will um, open up new avenues of new businesses to be developed, and that naturally goes for uh, developing ecosystems such as suppliers and all, all kinds of different uh, actors that can sort of grow, up, grow around those. But it does take the course of you know, pushing, pushing a little bit, uh, pushing the... Um, Little, little bit unpredictable lines of business as well. So games industry, it's not, it's not a simple thing to explain to, uh, or what wasn't in a few years back, wasn't a sim simple thing to explain to lo local uh, decision makers that this is the area that we want to uh, emphasize. But they've been very supportive since that. So basically successful startups are, they're in the core of, of creating what, what, what the next chapter will be. Uh, not only that they do bring in econom economic activity or new jobs, but they help create a new culture. And that culture of uh, success, of, of entrepreneurship, of international, uh, international um, activities and all that, it's, as a culture, it's a very strong, strong base to build on. And, and we're, we're found, um, sort of creating the foundations for, for future with these activities. So 
when we started pl planning this program, naturally we started to think about wha what do the startups need in order to succeed. And there's a huge, huge list of stuff that they need. First thing, is the first thing though is money, because with money you can solve all, all kinds of problems. So that meant that we had to focus quite, a, quite heavily on funding, on, on getting those investments in, into the companies, especially in the states when the, when the companies are experiencing the uh, Death Valley phase. Uh, naturally, they need to have talent, and usually startup teams, they, they're not complete in the beginning, so you need to su supplement that with all kinds of different areas. Could it be leadership or marketing, tech, whatnot? So we needed a good group of people, good network of people who can sort of step in and help these, uh, these companies out in the early stages when on the areas that they, they are uh, lacking talent. And then it's the whole other areas where, where you do need expertise help as well and kind of from sort of lawyers to lawyers to uh, accountants and all that and we try to help with that as well. Office space, yeah, naturally we, you need a place where, we, where you can work and hopefully you can work with uh, other like-minded people. So we have, we have, we have a space like that in, in, uh, in Costco and Love Baron just for the level up. So the, the whole uh, idea the main idea of what, what we wanted to do in so, uh, in terms of facing the needs of startups was li to link them up with people who've already done, who done that exercise before many times and have successfully built up companies, have successfully, or have had bankruptcies, have failed in their business and learned the lessons. So we wanted to hook these aspiring young startups to these kind of veterans and see what happens. So, very sort of clear definition of an acceleration program. So we figured out, well naturally, I mean, when we started, started building up this program, we realized that, well, we don't have these th things in the house, so it, we, we're gonna need very strong partnerships. And uh, I'm not gonna walk you through all this, uh, this stuff, but it, it, and it, the idea here is that in the input, we need to get best possible people to, uh, into the program, best possible teams. And in the process side, we need to have the best possible coaches best possible uh, expert network. And in the end, we will have convincing, uh, fundable companies. Here's the core team uh, called VentureGem Network. It's actually uh, uh, VentureGem Limited no nowadays, but uh, I'm gonna talk to you all, no, I'm just not, just kidding. <laughs> uh, Antti Villanen, Markus Roomark, Hanno Vuola, Matti Nikola, Ilkka Lastila and I, we sort of formed the, the core team of supporting these, uh, these companies and run, uh, run the uh, boot camps and, uh, and support, support programs along with about 30 different experts in different, brief, different fields. Keep jumping. Uh, the Venture Gym Acceleration Program uh, consist of boot camps. So we had three boot camps in the, during this uh, s uh, during the startup and spin-off factory pro uh, project, averaging about seven, seven startups at a go. Three, four-week, very intense training, workshops, um, very demanding period for uh, for a startup. They need to define who they are, what what they want, what their objectives are, and uh, what what do they have as sort of unique skills. What do they what are they lacking and all that. So. Working with this uh, very heavily on their on their strategy, of how how they're gonna take over the world with their products, and and he quite heavily focusing on, on finance. So basically, what kind of a seed story you can create? What's the best message that you can show from wha wha wherever your team sta stands, and what do you what do you need to need to do in order to be fundable and and and, um, and go forward from that? So after these boot camps, we basically had sort of open ended period of time where we can support these companies in, you know, on different kind of modules, um, uh, individually or in very small, uh, in, in smaller groups, focusing on say branding for a long, uh, or for a game, a game company, uh, finding a publisher for example, doing that exercise with a company for, for um, basically as long as it takes for them to get to the goal. Uh, then international activities. Well, we've taken these companies out of the world. Uh, 
mostly meeting investors. We had uh, pitching events in London and Singapore in the past, the past eight months. Basically open stuff, we, uh, we had 10 companies pitching to say 60, 50 local investors. And we also had like these uh, different kinds of investor trips where we took a smaller gr group of uh, companies to meet investors at their own sites. These have been very, very, uh, very well received uh, activities. So we're not alone in this process. So aside from us running the acceleration program and the international activities, we have University of Helsinki on board as well. And what they're doing is, is developing their sort of tech transfer program. Uh, and in the ecosystem way of thinking, they want to find those really, those gold nuggets within their, uh, their uh, organization, in their research, in their different fac faculties that are uh, business ideas that can be scalable, can be driven as, uh, as um, um, companies are that are well, well fundable. So University of Helsinki has been doing all kinds of activities to, towards this and, and, and this, this is this case also in, in the startup and spin-off factory pr uh, program. Um, it's a long road, and they develop a con quite a lot of uh, models for that. And uh, the idea is basically for them to build up this next stage of, uh, of, of startups, bringing from the, uh, from the different faculties and massive amount of research that they do at the University of Helsinki. So they were, uh, for example, the Helsinki Think Company is a very good example of that, that these things are really popping up really strongly right now. And as as a community of entrepreneurship and a sort of common space for for um, uh, Helsinki University based startups. Then uh, in Turku, their role has been um, to develop student entrepreneurship. So they've been working on creating a, a commercialization model in the sense of combining the the methods of uh, lean uh, lean startup thinking and uh, mentoring the, the student entrepreneurs. So they had uh, two, two um, during two terms, groups of students that they've been running through this program and uh, some, some new companies have been formed. At least the, uh, the uh, students are much better aware of what it means to be an entrepreneur. And this, uh, they're also engaged the, uh, the local local serial entrep entrepreneur and business angel communities to come and mentor these, uh, these uh, very young companies, which is, uh, has proven, uh, proven to be very, very fruitful. And this is kind of thinking that in on the next, st next stage when we plan our uh, new programs and all that, this is something that we want to spread also to, to different areas. Uh, Lappet on the Uni University of Technology, their role has been to be a little bit introspective, so studying what, how the whole process goes, how the, uh, um, how the acceleration fits in the sense of our academic standards and, and uh, analyze whether or not we're doing the right thing or not. Uh, for them, uh, the main task has been basically doing the analysis which they, they are doing at the moment and bringing some good, good and um, valuable feedback that we can use in order to build build something new and spread the word around on how, how these things, uh, what, what the experience and learnings have been from our point of view. So, where are we today? So we've had 25 companies on board. Here are some of their, uh, their logos. About half of those are game companies. Half of them are uh, other scalable ICT, healthcare, uh, retail, uh, stuff from sort of in indoor navigation to uh, quality assurance. About 50 jobs so far have been created through, uh, through this program. At least uh, we have some involvement in the, in, in the creation of those jobs. Um, the process itself that was uh, one of the objective was, yes, we've piloted, we've proven, it's as it stands, we can re, uh, further develop it. And uh, since Venture Gym has become its own company, it's actually become commercial as well, which is one of the one of the key 
key aspect. We have, on, on the road in the last two years, we've uh, managed to create quite a lot of valuable contacts and networks in order to help the companies out better in the future, help, the, uh, help us create better programs to further develop the ecosystem that we have. And what we've had so far as feedback from uh, that the Laparat University of Technology has gathered up together, we've had very good reviews from startup side. And this is something that I, I, I feel really proud about. That, uh, these companies actually feel that they've, they've gotten something valuable out of, out of our uh, boot camps and the different investor trips and such. And uh, which means that we, we, we've done at least something right. But I think the most important thing is that we actually have helped these companies raise quite significant, uh, significant amount of money in early stage funding. Eight and a half million, million euros for 25 companies. Uh, some a little bit less, some a little bit more, but a lot of these companies have basically means, means that they need in order to go further develop their, uh, their products, further develop their, their marketing and really reach the next stage. And that's the whole objective, objective of this uh, program. And um, one of the uh, Im important aspects here is as well that now, now that these companies do have these sort of uh, built-in skills and experience of getting the pre-seed or seed stage funding, and if, if their products are developed well and the mar uh, their hypothesis on the market hold, uh, they actually can reach, reach uh, say, pilot markets somewhere and, and, and prove their case. It's not really a big thing to go for the Series A and really become big and scale up. And that's, that's the uh, sort of lasting, lasting um, exp uh, experience that these companies can take away from them. Or they fail. And, but then again, people don't try again. You already have the skill. So, what's going to happen next? So we're we're so now we're closing the start of a spin-off factory program at the end of this month, which is not really the end. It's 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 the end of the beginning. So our next steps in uh, in developing the uh, startup ecosystem will include strengthening certain spearheads that we have in sense of lines of business. For example, games industry. We've had, uh, as I said before, we, we've had about half of our companies are from games industry who have participated in the program. And there's a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of things that we can do specifically to support games industry. And this is something that we, we're looking to strengthen in the future in the whole, whole uh, acceleration aspect. Then we are going to widen the scope in, in a way that right now we've been focusing on very sort of ICT driven companies. There's a huge potential for scalable business mod models in more traditional businesses that people just don't know about. Uh, they don't know, understand the technology and how to, how to reach those markets. With a little bit of push, a little bit of motivation, we can spring up a lot of, lot of new business, new spin-offs from uh, traditional companies that have a potential to become global, global success stories. So a little bit more digging, but you usually have companies with uh, sound uh, sound finance and base already. Uh, we are going to be very much international in the future as well. So most of the uh, investments are done abroad. So we're going to be abroad as well. Finland is not bad. It's, it's a good area to seek funding. But there's a lot of pl places in the world that uh, where it's uh, easiest. That being said, one of the things about the Finnish, Finnish system is that our, our uh, sort of government tools for supporting uh, innovation, in, innovative companies in, um, in their early stage, such as TechS, are remarkably good. And they, TechS and uh, the ELYs and all these have been very helpful in bring, bringing these companies up and uh, scale, scaling their business even further. Um, our focus has been, in sense of offering, has been, been 
very strongly towards the, uh, the startup. So we've been uh, focusing first on reaching the best possible startup. We're gonna keep that. But on, that, uh, on, on, a, on another side, we want to create also a solid offering for any investor who's interested in, in the companies that we uh, help and represent and also the, the region that we represent. And yeah, we need allies as well. So we'd be looking at new par uh, partnerships with, uh, with companies that can help, uh, help our uh, companies and organizations and can help out our, uh, our startups to grow and vice versa. We, we can help foreign, foreign startups to set up base in Finland, for example. So, 12 companies, most of, most of the who are Venture Gym uh, alumni, are going to be pitching on the opposite, uh, opposite call at 2, 2 p.m. today. So, if any of you are an investor or just have a bit of spare change in your pocket in the range of several hundred thousand, you're very welcome to come and uh, hear, hear the uh, actual, actual uh, everyday life and the possibilities of these startups. So that's, my name is Mikko Kaharanda. Thank you very much for your attention.